it, it does make me feel pretty good. Um, I read I read through full details, but we have to, it's going to take time, it's going to, and we have to understand that. So we have to you know see how it goes because this isn't the only time where people talked about protesting. Back in 1972, I remember uh, Brando, the who played uh, the Godfather, he protested by not showing up and had a Native Native American woman uh, go on stage and basically said he's not accepting the war because of the treatment of Native Americans. And this was back in 72. So it, it's, it, we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes, but it does, it does make me feel better that she made changes so quickly, especially after the Smith family was vocal. You'll be aware that there have been voices speaking out against criticism of the Academy's nominations, most notably Charlotte Rampling, who says of the absence of non-white members among the Oscars that the complaints are anti-white racism. Maybe the black actors don't deserve to be on the final stretch. That's what she said. What, was this a helpful contribution to the debate? It, it really wasn't um, because there's it's a... It's a dope argument as far as who deserves to be put in. But people like Idris Elba, and you compare him to some of the people for supporting actors, he definitely should have been nominated. But that's just an example. Um, but as far as being racist towards white, it's not that. It's just giving us an opportunity and, uh, you know, stop overlooking our films that we put out there. I mean, it's, it's like, for example, uh, the people that they selected from Creed and Straight Outta Compton. Out of all the African Americans, whether it's directors or actors, they pick three white people out of the films. You know, and it's and it's kind of funny because they all put up great performances, especially the director Ryan Coogler. Do you anticipate that Chris Rock will make the most of the controversy when he hosts the ceremony at the end of next month? He won't pull any punches, surely. Oh yeah, I think he's definitely going in. I uh, heard recently that he's even uh, made some changes to his monologue and what he's going to say. And if you know Chris Rock for years, he's always had, you know, jokes based on racism. Uh, you know, that's, that's one of his biggest things where he tells the truth to a certain degree, but he, you know, I, I got a feeling that he's going to, he's going to send a message one way or another. Should he be presenting the Oscars? Honestly, I can't tell him what he should be doing because uh, that's a full commitment. And uh, Steve Harvey said the same exact thing. Um, and also Spike Lee, you know, he's, he's a grown man. He can do what he can, but at the same time, he made a full commitment to the Oscars. And, you know, maybe he's going to say something that should be said versus, you know, us assuming that he's going to go with the basic stuff. We don't know what he's about to do until he actually does it. But maybe he has something up his sleeve. What's your experience of trying to get films made and financed? Uh, as a writer, I'm actually going through that challenge now. Um, <laughs> I have two uh, films um, that are being... I'm, things are pretty much heating up right now where negotiations are going back and forth um, and trying to get more investors into it. But I have one called The Open Hill, which is about a story about an African-American skateboarder who uses skateboarding to escape his troubled past you know, in, in his street life. And, you know, because it involves a young African-American male in the streets, that gets, picked, you know, that gets a little bit more attention. But I have a sci-fi thriller called Cozen, which has an African-American lead as well, and people are more hesitant about that. It's like they, there's only certain type of films where they see uh, African-Americans within and doing well. Nelson Mandela's daughter says that the anti-apartheid struggle in South Africa was embraced and supported by people who cared around the world. Will this issue of diversity in Hollywood inspire people similarly? Oh, uh, it's, it's possible. It is very, it's very possible. I mean, like I said, it's going to take years for it to really open up. Um, and we're not talking about just the Academy Awards, but the whole Hollywood system has to, you know, kind of buy into it and um, inspire. Do you expect to see a more diverse range of nominees in next year's Oscars? Probably not. As, I mean, more than likely, because it seems like the pressure is heating up. And, you know, if, if you know, we have actors and actresses and directors that, you know, are put in position where they should be nominated, I think they will look at it. But um, my expectations, I'm kind of just waiting to see, you know, how things go. Because, like I said, it has been happening for decades where people have protested and, you know, made their voices heard. So 
far as the um, talking about racism and you know the Oscars. <laughs>